Hey there, how are you doing today? I'm Rodrigo, I'm here for Textualize and I want to show you how to handle button clicks in your textual apps. Alright, so in order to do that, I need to start off by creating a very simple app with a button. I'm going to go ahead and from the widgets, I'm going to import my button. And I'm going to say that my app composes, so as you know the method compose is what you use to put widgets on the screen. I'm going to yield a button and I'm going to say that this button is called, I don't know, exit the app. It says exit the app and then if this is the main module what I want to do is I want to create an instance of my app and run it. Let me go ahead and run this app. So this is what the app looks like. Now the thing is if I click the button that says exit the app, if I click it, you can see I'm clicking it but nothing happens. Why is that? Well because I'm not handling the button click, right? So in textual, whenever a user interacts with a widget, for example, pressing a button, textual does what we call post a message. So it's like, it's as if textual is notifying the system, the, the textual system that the button was pressed. Now what you need to do as a developer, of the a developer of textual apps, sorry, what you need to do is you need to, you need to handle that notification. So we call it handle the message. And the simplest way to do that, or the most straightforward way, is to go ahead and from textual import on. So on, this right here is a decorator. And you use it to decorate the message handlers. So if you type something, if you, yeah, if you define a method like this one over here. So this method will just exit the app. So self.exit. So this exits the app, right? And now what we want to do is we want to run this when the button is pressed. So what you do is you decorate this method with the on. And inside the parentheses here, you need to tell textual what message is going to trigger this method. So the button, widget button, has a message called pressed, not called called. So button.pressed is the message that textual issues when the button is pressed. And therefore, by using the on decorator, this right here will run when you press the button in your app. So let me give it a try. Let's exit. Let's open the app again. And now let me press the button. So as you can see, pressing the button did exit the app. Now, the other thing I want to show you before I conclude this video is that if I yield another button here, let's say it's called do nothing. So I have a button here that says do nothing and I want the button to do nothing. If I run the app again, and if I press the button do nothing, what you'll see is that the button do nothing also exits the app. And that's because whenever I press a button, Textual will issue a button.pressed message. And both messages, they're of the type button.pressed. So this handler right here is going to handle messages from both buttons. So if you want to distinguish things, you can do something like add an ID to this button right here. So this is going to be the exit button. And inside the decorator, Next to the type of message you want to handle, you can put the comment. Now you can write a selector, so a CSS selector. For example, if this button has the ID exit, we might say we want to handle button.pressed messages, but only from buttons that have the ID exit. All right, so now what's written here is whenever there's a button.pressed message from a button whose ID is exit, sorry, from a button whose ID is exit, then run this. Now, if I go back to my app, if I press the button do nothing, nothing happens. But if I press the button exit app, the app exits. So the on decorator is a very useful and common way of handling messages in textual. Go ahead and give that a try. You can use it to also handle other messages from other widgets. There's a guide in the documentation about this, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or just join our Discord server to, to chat with us. 
All right, so I hope this was useful and I'll see you soon. Bye.